What up YouTube, Topaz Yates man, and we gonna talk about some shows that has been cancelled, shows that are returning, and some new shows that's coming TV that I'm definitely anticipating for that you may be seeing some reviews for in the future. And I definitely want to hear what you guys think and what shows do you guys kind of prefer that's coming. So quite honestly man, none of the shows that I enjoyed got cancelled this year, and this is like a first in a very long fucking time, you dig? But yet... Ultimately, there was only one show that was kind of close that I kind of gave a shot to that I really just didn't fuck with, which was Constantine that got dropped. But yet, they saying that Constantine may not be completely dropped. They're going to try to find a new home for it. Hopefully, it'll be somewhere where they can be more gritty, more darker and such with it. But now that it's been canceled, I probably will go back and watch the entire full first season. Because I watched the first couple episodes, I'm like, this is just too damn cheesy to be good, man. I just stopped fucking with it all the way around. Now that it's canceled, I may go back and give it a chance and see what all the fuss is about. Because a lot of people saying that Constantine needs to stay. But there's a lot of shows that's returning, man, that I really didn't expect. Like Luther, for those who didn't know, that's like a BBC channel type show, man. Starring Idris Elba, best known for his role of Stringer on the Wire, man, in which he plays a... Damn near crooked detective, but yet the city needs a damn crooked detective in order to get shit done. Like, that show is fucking phenomenal. I thought they wasn't going to bring it back, but I'm happy that they are. And Heroes Reborn is coming in, which, you know, this is a somewhat reboot of, you know, Save the Chili to Save the World. In which that show was pretty dope. I mean, I liked the first season. Then the writer's strike hit, then it fell downhill. So I'm definitely excited for that, man. I'm definitely excited for the new season of the Peaky Blinders, which I didn't think they was going to bring another one of these because it's not all that popular. Like, it's a Netflix original joint where it's starring the guy who played Scarecrow in all of the Dark Knights trilogies and such from Christopher Nolan. He plays an old-time Irish gangster, pretty much, man, and it's pretty damn solid as soon as you get past the heavy accents and such. Power is coming back next month, man, which I'm probably going to review the first episode and give a brief synopsis of the whole first season as well. And then House of Lies and House of Calls, they both got renewed for new seasons, man, in which both of those shows are fucking phenomenal. But yet, some new shit that's coming. Supergirl. Now, Here's my thing, i seen the pictures of what she looks like and it looks kind of whack. Like honestly it looked like bad cosplay in my opinion. But I'm going to give this show a shot just like I give all of the comic shows a damn shot. Just like Lucifer that's going to be coming as well which that's another DC comic. In which they are trying to connect somewhat the TV shows but not really. See the way that DC comics works man, like it's a multiverse man. There's so many different universes that they can just go and tap into make a comic book out of a comic book series and none of it really affects each other. Why uh, the Marvel Universe, everything tends to connect. Just like how Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Agents Carter, they all affected the damn movies that have been going on as well. So it definitely works with the comics, man, but yet you see some of these good-ass actors that they have playing these characters, they will never be in a fucking movie like Stephen Armel, who is the fucking Green Arrow, you did. Then they got Rush Hour coming to TV, man. I'm sure it's not going to have Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan, but... What the fuck else is they actually doing to not be doing fucking TV and shit? I mean, it would be cool if they were actually a part of it, but let's be real, man. They are too big for TV, but yet they're not getting any love in movies. So a lot of actors and such, they just fade away instead of trying to go back to TV. Then they're making a TV show out of Minority Report, in which we all know Tom Cruise ain't gonna be a part of that shit. But that's definitely one that I'm looking forward for because that is a universe that definitely could be telling some good stories and such because they only got into but so much off of the damn movie. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to DownloadPads.com that's down there to read today's article.